Hello everyone, welcome to the Hard VC channel and today I'm going to show you how to set up the Apple Watch SE3 with the iPhone 17 Pro. So this is the Apple Watch SE3 and uh, let me just take off this band so it's going to be easier to see what, what I'm doing. You can take off the band of this watch by uh, holding on these two buttons. So like holding on this button first and then sliding the band out either to the right or to the left. The same on the other side, just holding this button and sliding it out like this. Okay, so now that it's easier to see what we're doing, let's continue. So the first thing that we're going to do is make sure that the Apple Watch is turned on and uh, it should be like on this screen right here. So bring iPhone near Apple Watch. Uh, then what we're going to do is open up the watch app. It usually comes installed with all of the iPhones. So just open up the watch, the watch app, uh, go to my watch. So the my watch tab and press start pairing. And here you can either select if you're setting up for yourself or for, for a family member. We're going to do for myself right now. And now uh, if the watch is close enough, uh, there will uh, pop up like a little screen that allows you to scan the uh, like the face of the watch so if it doesn't pop up what you can do is try to man what the fuck Hello everyone, welcome to the Hard Reset channel and today I'm going to show you how to set up the Apple Watch SE3 with the iPhone 17 Pro. So here is the new Apple Watch SE3 and the new iPhone 17 Pro and uh, I'm going to show you how to set both of them up. So how to pair uh, one device with the other. So the first thing that we're going to do is turn on our Apple Watch. Uh, you might want to restart the Apple Watch because, uh, well, uh, usually if you want to process the process to start, uh, you need to uh, connect uh, both of the uh, devices and usually restarting the device helps with that because sometimes uh, the screen that you want just doesn't pop up on the iPhone. And uh, let's just wait for the Apple Watch to start. And once it starts uh, there should be either like a screen that pops up right here to start setting up the Apple Watch uh, so we should bring both the device clo devices closer you can try that but if that doesn't work uh, like in my case what you can do is open up the Apple Watch app the watch app usually comes downloaded with every iPhone and um, we can just open it up, it looks like something like this. And then we're gonna go to the My Watch tab and press Start Pairing. Then we're going to select Setup for Myself. And now if the devices are close enough, as you can see, uh, this screen right here uh, should appear, like this nice colorful, sc colorful screen. And uh, what we're going to do is just scan the screen with the camera of our iPhone like this 
So there we go. It's now confirmed and as you can see your Apple Watch is paired. So now let's continue by pressing set up Apple Watch. And now the wrist preference. So which wrist you want to wear this on, like the right or the left. It usually if you're right handed you select left. And this is the wrist that I wear my watch on. So let's continue with that. And uh, well uh, actually that changes like the direction uh, where your crown will be facing this one so to, to the left or to the right now let's agree to the terms and, and conditions we should scroll through them probably there we go and uh, now you need to either set up a passcode or you don't need to add a passcode and uh, the passcode works uh, in such a way that when you first put on your Apple Watch in the morning, for example, you need to enter your password only once. So once it detects that it, it's on your wrist and you've entered the password, it won't sh uh, show you the password anymore until you've taken it off again. So you can uh, create a passcode, you really need to type it in like once a day. So it is really a problem. I used to think that uh, it would be a problem, so I didn't really set up a passcode for my Apple Watch but you actually need to just type it in once a day, so it's fine. So I'm going to just type in a passcode. Uh, I don't care if, it's, if it can be easily guessed. Let's use it anyway. You can use your own passcode, like uh, any passcode that you want. It could be the same one that you have on your phone. And uh, then you're going to need to confirm it, like you usually do with passcodes. And now the next thing is the text and size so you can do bold text as you can see this is like a preview of how the text will look like you can make it bolder you can make it larger like this you can just choose your own preference or you can set it up later in the Apple watch app so I'm going to select this one it's pretty big so you can see it on the camera maybe do bold like this this looks fine so let's continue and uh, this is the shared settings tab so this means that the settings will be shared between the phone and the Apple watch this could be the way the Apple eco ecosystem works so let's press OK and this is where you like personalize your fitness and health it will take the data from the health app when you've uh, set up your health app on the phone it will take the data from there, but you can change it for, for yourself if you want. These aren't really accurate descriptions. These are just random, but um, you can. It's, it's better to set it up for yourself, like as accurate as you can. So I press continue. And this is the workout route tracking. So uh, it uses like routes and the weather to track your workouts and like upload them to your app. Uh, to your health app or whatever other app you're using you can enable it or disable it whichever one you want then the sleep tracking so uh, the apple watch if you wear it in your sleep it could track like your sleep cycles your heart rate stuff like that so if you need it you can set up a schedule or you, or you can skip I'm going to skip for now there are notifications about health so if the environment or the music that you're listening to in your ear pods is too noisy it will notify you low heart rate means that if your heart rate is low for 10 minutes it will also send you a notification and the same thing with the high heart rate if it's too high for 10 minutes it will also send you a notification so you can enable all of these press continue and uh, there are also a bunch of safety options like emergency SOS so if you hold this button right here it will allow you to do an emergency SOS call so just hold this power button right here on the Apple Watch. Fall detection during workouts. So if you fall hard and uh, like uh, something happens, your Apple Watch can detect that and call an emergency service. Same thing with crash detection. So if, if it detects a car crash, same thing happens if you call an emergency service. And backtracking is uh, where if you get lost, you can enable the backtracking option before you get lost. So it tracks your route and uh, once you like get lost, you can backtrack 
uh, it'll show you what route you have taken and you can go back that route and like come back to safety basically so let's press continue and uh, here you have one-handed gestures so you have the double tap which means if you like tap your fingers together like this it will uh, do like some sort of action you also have the wrist flick which as you can see on the screen if you turn your wrist like that it will close some apps and return to your like main watch face so these are the features that you have those are pretty useful so let's press continue and now it's going to sign you into your account so let's uh, wait for that to happen this may take some time so as you can see uh, this is going to take a little bit of time you can ha you have the progress bar on the apple watch face right here and uh, while you're waiting you can get to know your watch you can press this button to find out about more features on the apple watch but uh, uh, right now uh, i'll just wait for the apple watch to complete the synchronization okay so the synchronization has completed now the device has been added to our account and press ok and as you can see we can now close the screen on the iphone and we can continue on the apple watch so now we need to type in the password that you have set up now we can press start and uh, this is going to take you through a tutorial on how to navigate the apple watch so you have this crown that you can press on to open up the apps tab like see all of the apps that you have on your um, watch tap again to return to the main watch face the side button opens up the control center so like the same as on the iPhone same way to close it and you can see the widgets by turning the crown to go down and uh, well that is pretty much it now you can use your Apple Watch, you have all the new features like the always on display, if you like cover your screen like this, and uh, pretty much other features that come with the SE3, so that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, I hope this video helps you, and make sure to like and subscribe.